Hello everyone, welcome to Natchat. My name is Karambir Palna. I'm 15 years old and today I will be sharing with you my experiences in the field of photography and conservation in Nairobi National Park. I started photography at the age of 12 with a mobile device. I would take pictures of domestic animals and flowers around my residence. This was when my interest in photography began, but my love for wildlife started way before, simply because of my frequent trips to Nairobi National Park during my early childhood. Established in 1946, the National Park was Kenya's first wildlife park run by the Kenyan Wildlife Service. The park includes four of the big five animals and many other wonderful creatures with the exception of elephants. On one of our trips, I decided to experiment photography with my dad's camera. With my new interest in photography and my love for wildlife, little did I know that this would soon become the thing that I am most passionate about. It started off with just clicking away images at this paradise we have within our city and posting them on social media. The love and support I got from family and friends by posting these images was inspiring and this further motivated me to wildlife photography. Every time I visited the national park, it was always a unique experience and over the years I learned that you must always have patience while photographing these magnificent creatures to enable you to get nearly perfect images. Due to my interest in wildlife photography, my visits to the park became frequent that the park felt like a home to me. There is one thing that reached out to me and that is the fact that Nairobi National Park is in between crossroad of development and conservation. In simple terms, that means that the park is standing strong while being interfered with human development. For example, with the existence of the recent SGR railway track. Viewing a wildlife savanna with the skyline of Nairobi city showing human interference simply speaks for itself. Bordering East Africa's fastest growing cities, the park is constantly under threat of new infrastructure projects which are resulting in shrinking territories for these wild animals. Therefore, it is my goal to use photography as a tool to make an impact in conservation efforts because we are now at an exciting era of photography that is quite limitless and yet very accessible to us. That will be all from me for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, kindly leave a like and subscribe to Nat Institute.